New at six for the first time we're getting a picture of how self driving cars are doing across the country. We know that they're being tested and already in use as a taxi service in Arizona. Now the federal government is compiling crash numbers for every single car self driving car company. Team 12's William Pitts shows us the data. For the first time, the feds now know exactly how many self-driving car crashes have happened in Arizona and across the country. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration put out its first report on self-driving car crashes. Since July of last year, it says there have been 130 crashes across the country, 12 in Arizona. The highest, 90 crashes in California, where most companies are operating. There's really not much you can do with the findings. All they tell you is that some cars crashed, but you don't know what percentage of cars crashed, how that compares to other vehicles on the road. Self-driving car expert Andrew Maynard at ASU says he wants more information than the reports currently get. According to the data, the majority of crashes reported in Arizona were from Waymo. Maynard says that's not exactly surprising since Waymo is the only company running a ride hailing service in the state. And most of it is actually down to Waymo, which is one of the most responsible companies on the road. Um, and it's unclear why there are so many incidents with Waymo, but we do know that they've been very, very active in terms of putting cars on the road. What's missing from some of those descriptions are details. Some show the autonomous car being hit by another car, but others just say they were involved in crashes. Most of them are rear ends. Um, which says something about how those autonomous vehicles are interacting with other drivers on the road. There are self-driving cars all over the city, and now we're finding out all over the country in different states. There are the states we knew about, Arizona, California, but the NHTSA report shows self-driving cars are also being used in states like Colorado, Wyoming, Georgia, Florida, and others. The report gives experts like Maynard something to look at, but not a complete picture. And he says it's going to take a lot more transparency for the self-driving car industry to get the public's trust. A AAA survey in 2020 found only 12% of people trusted self-driving cars. The industry cannot build trust without letting people know what's happening. Waymo sent a statement that said, in part, we see value in having nationally uniform crash reporting during this early stage of the development and deployment of autonomous driving technology. And there's public benefit in NHTSA sharing its findings. William Pitts, 12 News. Well, thanks.